हेलो स्प्रिंस अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ एनलिस्ट आई एस सो टुडे टॉपिक फॉर ब्रिथ सीरीज डिस्कशन आर द क्वालिटी एम सी क्यूज विच केम इन द प्रिलिम्स ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन सो टोटल क्वेश्चन विच केम वर एटीन जो ब्रिथ सीरीज का आइडिया वो ये है कि आपको एक एस्टिमेट मिल पाए कि यूपीएससी किस पैटर्न में किस फील्ड से ज्यादा क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा है सो लेट स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन वन अंडर द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ वेल्थ वॉयलेट्स राइट टू इक्वालिटी डीपीएसपी राइट टू फ्रीडम या कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वेलफेयर पॉजिटिव ट्राई टू आंसर Let's see the answer. So, the correct answer to this is B, the DPSP. DPSP 36 to 51 articles में आते हैं ये part four of the constitution में है. And it also says the article 39 says the ownership and control of material resources shall be organized in a manner to serve the common good. And the steel shall avoid concentration of wealth in a few hands among others. So, the answer is B. Second question. What is the position of the right to property in India? Legal right available to citizens. Legal right available to any person. The fundamental right available to citizens only, neither fundamental nor legal right. Pause the video. Try to answer. Now let's see the answer. So the correct answer to this is B, which is a legal right. Hai. Article 300A insert was done by the 44th Amendment Act of 1978. So in the part 12 of the Indian Constitution, Article 31 and 39. वो गिवन फंडामेंटल स्टेटस इन द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बट लेटर ऑन इन से हटा दिया गया था राइट टू प्रॉपर्टी को सो इट इज अ लीगल राइट क्वेश्चन थ्री से इज वट वॉज द एग्जैक्ट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल स्टेटस ऑफ इंडिया ऑन द ट्वेंटी सिक्स जनवरी नाइनटीन फिफ्टी अ डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक अ सॉवरन डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक अ सॉवर इन सेकुलर डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक अ सॉवर इन सोशलिस्ट सेकुलर डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक पॉजिटिव ट्राई टू आंसर नाउ लेट सी द आंसर सो यू करेक्ट आंसर दिस इज बी क्योंकि जो वर्ड्स हैं they were added by the 42nd constitutional amendment act of 1976 the words were socialist secular and integrity so your correct answer is sovereign democratic republic b was your answer question for constitutional government means a representative government of nation with a federal structure a government whose head enjoys nominal powers a government whose head enjoys nominal powers a government limited by the terms of the constitution Pause the video. Try to answer. Now let's see the answer. So your correct answer to this is D. Is your correct answer? These two options seem similar. So, but your answer was D. The reason is, ये last year 2020 का एक repeated question है. अगर आपने कल का video देखा होगा, तो उसमें एक similar type of question है. थोड़ा घुमा के पूछा है, but it is a similar type of question. So your answer is D. Constitutional government is defined by the existence of a constitution. Which may be a legal instrument or merely a set of fixed norms or principles, generally accepted as the fundamental law of the polity that effectively controls the exercise of political power. Question five: Consider the following statements in respect of the Bharat Ratna and Padma Awards. Bharat Ratna and Padma Awards are titles under the Article 18 of the Constitution. Padma Awards, which were instituted in the year 1954, were suspended only once. The number of the Bharat Ratna Award is Restricted to a maximum of five in a particular year. Which of the above statements are not correct? Pause the video. Try to answer. Now let's see the answer. So your correct answer to this is D is your correct answer because uh, they cannot be kept as title. Article eighteen could abolition of titles देता है, so awards को नहीं हम use कर सकते articles के तौर titles के तौर पे. Statement one is wrong. Padma awards were suspended during the years seventy eight, nineteen seventy nine, nineteen ninety three to nineteen ninety seven. Second is also incorrect, and the recommendations for the Bharat Ratna are made by the Prime Minister to the President of India. The number of the Bharat Ratna awards is restricted to a maximum of three persons in a particular year. So third is also incorrect. Your correct answer is D. Question six with reference to the India. Consider the following statements: Judicial custody means an accused is in the custody of the concerned magistrate, and such accused is locked up in the police station, not in jail. During judicial custody, the Police officer in charge of the case is not allowed to integrate the suspect without the approval of the court. Pause the video. Try to answer. Now let's see the answer. So your correct answer to this is B. Is your correct answer? Judicial custody and accused is in custody of the concerned magistrate and lost in a jail. Statement one is incorrect. During judicial custody, the police officer in the charge of the case may interrogate the suspect, but with the prior permission from the magistrate. So statement second was correct. Your correct answer is B. ये 2021 में आया था और इससे पहले शाहरुख खान के बेटे की जुडिशियल कस्टडी ली गई थी तो ये उसी करंट अफेयर से रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन आया गया था 
क्वेश्चन सेवन विद रेफरेंस टू इंडिया कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट वेन आ प्रिजनर मेक्स आउट आ सफिशियंट केस पेरोल कैन नॉट बी डिनाइड टू सच अ प्रिजनर बिकॉज इट बिकम्स अ मैटर ऑफ हिज अ राइट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट हैव देयर ओन प्रिजन प्रिजनर्स रिलीज ऑन पेरोल रूल्स पॉजिटिव टू एट वन नॉलेज सी द आंसर सो योर करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस इज बी इज योर करेक्ट आंसर फर्स्ट इज इन करेक्ट एंड द सेकेंड वन इज करेक्ट ऑल दो सम क्रिमिनल स्टेटस कैरी आर राइट टू एन इवेंचुअल पेरोल हियरिंग टिपिकली लॉज डू नॉट एब्सोल्यूटली गारंटी पेरोल इट सेल्फ अथॉरिटीज दे रिटेन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू डिनाय द पेरोल टू द प्रिजनर्स दे सीन डेंजरस सो फर्स्ट इज इन करेक्ट द ग्रांट ऑफ द पेरोल इज गवर्न बाय द रूल्स made in the prisoner act of 1894 and this act of 1900 many state governments have also formulated guidelines to facilitate decision making to determine whether parole needed to be guaranteed in a particular case or not for example the rajasthan prisoners release on the parole rules 1958 therefore state second is correct at the national level which ministry is the nodal agency to ensure effective implementation of the scheduled drive and other traditional forest dwellers Act of 2006, Ministry of Environment, Forest, Climate Change, the Ministry of Panchayati Raj, the Ministry of Rural Development, the Ministry of Tribal Affairs. Pause the video. Try to answer. Now let's see the answer. So the correct answer to this is D. This all is related to the Ministry of the Tribal Affairs. If you want to read more about it, you can pause the video here and read about it. Question nine. A legislation with which confirms on the executive or administrative authority. an unguided and uncontrolled discretionary power in the matter of the application of the law violates which of the following articles of the constitution of india 14 28 32 44 pause the video try to answer now let's see the answer so correct answer to this is a a c is the equality before law and everyone is equal so no person shall be denied the treatment of equality before the law or equal protection in the laws within the territory of india so it is it acts again as a shield against any arbitrary arbitrary or discriminatory state action and uh, so your correct answer is a quality question 10 which one of the following is in the indian polity is an essential feature that indicates that it is federal in character the independence of judiciary is safeguarded the union legislature has elected representative from constituent units the union cabinet can have elected representatives from regional parties the fundamental rights are enforceable by the courts of law pause the video try to answer now let's see the answer so correct answer to this is a because federal feature mein judiciary independence aata hai question 11 which one of the following best defines the term state ye article 12 mein define kiya gaya hai a community of persons permanently occupying a definite territory independent of external control or possessing an organized government a politically organized people of a definite territory and possessing an authority to govern them maintain law and order protect their natural rights and safeguard their means of subs- subsistence a number of persons who have been living in a definite territory for a very long time with their own culture traditional and government a society permanently living in a definite with a central authority and executive responsible to the central authority and an independent judiciary pause the video try to answer now let's see the answer so correct answer is a is your correct answer a uh, state can be defined as the society of people politically organized within a different territory definite territory having its own government and uh, it is independent of the external control and possess an organized government Question 12 with reference to Indian judiciary consider the following statements any retired judge of the supreme court of india can be called back to sit by the chief justice of india with prior permission of the president of india a high court in the india has the power to review its own judgment as the supreme court does which of the statements given above is a correct pause the video try to answer now let's see the answer so your correct answer to this is c is your correct answer both are correct As per the Article 128 of the Indian Constitution, Chief Justice of India may, at any time, with the previous consent of the President, request any person to sit and act as Judge of the Supreme Court with the following qualifications: who has held the office of the Judge of the Supreme Court. So, first is correct. He can be called, and being a court of record, the High Court can review its own judgments under Article 2 to 6 of the Constitution. Similarly, under the Article 137, the Supreme Court 
शैल हैव द पावर टू रिव्यू एनी जजमेंट सो रिव्यू की पावर दोनों के पास होती है सुप्रीम कोर्ट हाईकोर्ट योर करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस इज सी क्वेश्चन थर्टीन विद रेफरेंस टू इंडिया कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट देर इज ओनली वन सिटीजनशिप एंड वन डोमिसाइल सिटीजन बाय बर्थ ओनली कैन बिकम दैड ऑफ द स्टेट A foreigner once granted citizenship cannot be deprived of it under any circumstances. Which of the statements given is our correct? Pause the video. Try to answer. Now let's see the answer. So the correct answer to this is statement first is correct. A is correct. A citizen, not by birth, by naturalization, by registration, and all, he can also become the head of the state. Your statement second is incorrect. A foreigner once granted citizenship, he cannot be, he can be deprived. Its called termination, renunciation, or deprivation. Can certain government three things are happening, so it is also incorrect. Your correct answer is one citizenship or one domicile. Hai, according to, with the reference to the India, so it means a permanent home. A person cannot have more than one domicile. According to the Article Nine of the Constitution, if a person voluntarily acquired a citizenship of foreign state, will no longer be citizen of India. So in India, there is a single citizenship. And one domicile. Question fourteen: Which of the following factors constitutes the best safeguard of liberty in a liberal democracy? A committed judiciary, centralization of powers, elected government, separation of powers. Pause the video. Try to answer. Now let's see the answer. So the correct answer to this goes to D. Is a separation of power between executive, legislative, and judiciary. Liberal democracy is a representative form of government that operates under the following principles: election between multiple distinct political parties, separation of powers, different branches of government, may have independent judiciary, have equal protection of human rights, civil rights, civil liberties, have political freedom, have separation of power, just like uh, which will safeguard the liberty. So, separation of power, judiciary, executive, and legislature may come under. Question fifteen: We adopted parliamentary democracy based on the British model. but how does our model differ from that model as regards legislation the british parliament is supreme or sovereign but in india the power of the parliament to legislate is limited in india matters related to the constitutionally of the amendment of an act of the parliament are referred to the constitutional bench by the supreme court for the video try to answer now let's see the answer so the correct answer to this is c is your correct answer both are correct In India, there is no parliament sovereignty. Rather than there is constitutional sovereignty, and the authority and the jurisdiction of the parliament are limited. It cannot go beyond the basic structure of the Indian Constitution. So, a limited power he who first is correct. The case involves a substantial question of the law pertaining to the interpretation of constitution under the Article One Fifty Five of the Constitution, which mandates that such matters be heard by a bench of not less than five judges. So your answer is C. Both are correct. Question sixteen with reference to the union government. Consider the following statements. And Gopal Swami Younger Committee suggested that a minister and a secretary be designated solely for pursuing the subject of administrative reform and promoting it. In 1970, the Department of Personnel was constituted on the recommendation of the Administrative Reforms Commission 1966, and this was placed under the Prime Minister's charge. Which of the statement given above is a correct? Pause the video. Try to answer. Now let's see the answer. So the correct answer to this is B is your correct answer. Only second statement. First is incorrect as Gopal Swami Younger Committee it submitted a report on reorganization of the machinery of the government in 1950. The report has not mentioned setting up the ministry and a secretary of administrative reform. So first is incorrect and constituted in 1966 the first administrative reforms commission which is ARC it presented a report on the personal administration. In 1969, the ARC suggested setting up separate department of personnel to be directly under the control of the PM. The DOPT, Department of Personnel, was established in 1970 following this report and works under the Ministry of Personnel, Public Grievances and Pensions. So, your correct statement is B is your correct answer. Question 17: Right to privacy is protected under which article of the Constitution of India? Fifteen, nineteen, twenty-one, or twenty-nine. Pause the video. Try to answer. Now let's see the answer. So the correct answer to this is C. Right to privacy, which is the right to life and personal liberty, comes under this. So this is Article Twenty-One. Last question of today's session. That consider the following statements. In India, there is no law restricting the candidates from contesting in one Lok Sabha election from three constituencies. 
1991 Lok Sabha elections Sri Devi Dayal contested from three Lok Sabha constituencies as per the existing rules if a candidate contests in one Lok Sabha election for many constituencies his or her party should be at the cost of by elections to the constituencies vacated by them him or her in the event of him or her winning all in all the constituencies which of the statements given is are correct pause the video to at once sir now let's see the answer so your correct answer to this is b is your correct option which is this 1996 representation of people act of 1951 was amended to a stricter form ab 3 se 2 hain so maximum number of seats a one candidate could contest in lok sabha elections are two jaise rahul gandhi ne do jagah se ek vayanad aur amethi se पिछले इलेक्शंस में करा था सो so, यहां से भी आप याद कर रख सकते थे फर्स्ट इज इन करेक्ट इन 1991 श्री देवी दयाल कंटेस्टेड द थ्री लोकसभा सीट्स विच वो सितार रोहतक फिरोजपुर दो स्टेटमेंट सेकंड करेक्ट है 1991 में इन्होंने किया था बट 1996 में इसको हटा दिया था एंड वेन एवर अ कैंडिडेट कंटेस्ट फ्रॉम मोर देन वन सीट एंड ये जीत जाते हैं इन मोर देन वन सो द कैंडिडेट हैज टू रिटेन ओनली वन फोसिंग बाय द पोल्स ऑन द रेस्ट it results in unavoidable financial burden on the public executive government men power and other resources for holding by election against the resultant vacancy therefore statement third is not correct party par nahi aata uska so your answer is b this was all about today's video and session thank you have a nice day and stay tuned with the analyst i guess for your bit